guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 7 of the My Player series. Today we've got a couple of games away at Bradford and then another game against Stevenage I believe is the second one. So hopefully we can improve as a pro and grow a little bit overall in this one. We scored a couple of very, very nice goals in the previous episode, picking up the only goals in a 1-0 win and a 2-0 win. So we were definitely making the difference last time out. This is a Yorkshire derby of sorts, so uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting game. We're up, up top alongside Billy Painter yet again, so hopefully Hopefully, again, we can make the difference and fingers crossed we can come out with some more points and hopefully goals as well. Come on, play me. He's done well. I'm going to try and cut inside. Oh, get away from the defender. Pull across goal. No. Oh, my ball dribbling and ball control isn't quite as good as it potentially could be. I'm going to call for this on the edge of the box. We've got a bit of space. We'll try a finesse. It's been blocked, but can we follow up with a goal? No, we can't. It's well blocked. That's a lovely ball over the top. Defenders missed it. Oh, can't quite get there. Davies on the block. Fantastically done. We get a tackle in there, though. We can. Play him. Give it a... Billy Painter. Oh, so close to the bottom corner. Well, within inches of getting ourselves in front in this one. It's been a bit of a slow half so far, but that is definitely the best opportunity of this first period. Got man over. Cheeky little step over from Billy there. That was nice. Go on. Go on. Whip it. Get it into the box, please, boys. I'm going to call for it there. First touch, and then hit it first time. I had to take that early. I couldn't really have enough... Sp didn't really have enough space for a turn there. Unfortunately, it's gone wide, and that is how the first half is going to finish. Not the best of first halves for either side so far, so hopefully the second one livens up a little bit. Call for it down the line. We're going to get there. I've got a man in the box. Can we find him? It's a good ball. Billy Painter's up. Oh, it's our first assist in the league. What a header. Stood it up perfectly with the left foot. Billy Painter's done wonders to get up above the defender there. My guy's got an absolute grin of love on his face right there. Stood it up beautifully. Billy Painter, great header. Beat the goalkeeper at the near post. It's Sheffield United 1. It's Bradford City 0. Billy's there again. It's Jefferson. They've brought Jefferson on. Good strike. Unfortunately, I don't remember him being on the pitch. I don't remember seeing that substitution. But still, Jefferson, we've not played very well with him before. But uh, he's done quite well there to get that shot off. Just bent away at the last minute, unfortunately. Called for it. Jefferson could be in here if I can find him. As a good ball through, he pulled it down. The referee, I believe, is going to ball, going to ball, going to blow for full time. That's it. We're in a great run of form now. That's three wins from three as a team, and uh, we got the, all three goals in the last episode. This time around, we're uh, we're picking up the assists, turning into a right mess at Ertz or so far. So uh, hopefully we can continue that in the second game. Uh, we won't have got a very good rating because the rating system hates me, but still, we're doing very very well indeed at the minute. Now you guys, let me know. We could. I think we're going to get quite a few accomplishments here as well for getting 10 out of 10 matches complete. We are. Hopefully that will help us grow overall. We'll have to wait and see when we get back. But you guys, last time out, weren't too keen on the idea of me uh, me purchasing some of the boosts from the EA Sports Football Club. Some were pro, some were anti. So uh, we'll leave it for now. We'll see how we can grow on a, of our own accord. But uh, we might have gone up. Oh, we haven't gone up overall, unfortunately, thanks to that. But as you can see, we're close to meeting our objectives in, uh, in all areas although we need four more assists we're doing quite well in that area though one so far we did pick up one in the cup as well so we're on target as you can see at the top right uh, we're below target with the average rating but the rating system hates me like we've covered before and so far we've got five goals projected to get 25 so hopefully we can continue our goal scoring form and continue to uh, improve as a player as a team and get ourselves up into those playoff spots because we're not close enough just yet been selected again for this game against Stevenage so let's jump in we'll play them in their away kit so there's no uh, kick clash and then fingers crossed we can come up with another victory can we make it four wins from four we're very very close to the top of the table now as you can see just one point off fourth and those playoff spots so tight there it looks as if the teams that are first second and third are a little bit away ahead of that but it's really really tight for those playoff spots so if we can get a fourth back-to-back -back win here at home against Stevenage and that puts us in great stead for the upcoming uh, run into the January transfer window. Steven is in down this left-hand side with Wedgbury. In comes the header. Oh, that is just inches away from taking the lead. That was a great cross and a wonderful header as well. Just got the, the angle on it just slightly wrong. Not quite enough. You can see what he's trying to do. Try and arc it towards that back post. Not get too much on it. 
and uh, to try and guide it, but unfortunately didn't quite get enough on it, and uh, it went past that far post. That's a let off for us. It's an eye opener. We definitely need to solidify it down the flanks. Called for it. Give it a ping as well. Get a cheeky long pass in. There we go. That's beautiful. <sighs> Shame my teammates aren't up to my level, isn't it? This is going to be a frustrating loan spell, I think. It's going to be a case of. Go on. I might be off there again. Oh, we're just getting so close to making the breakthrough here, and oh, it's, I'm maybe my right big toenail was offside. That was close. Really, really could have had a great opportunity there. The call for that. Ref. A bit rough and tumble. Lovely ball over the top. Can we get onto the end of it? We might be able to. He's on me. It's a great shot. Oh, it nearly snuck into the bottom corner. He was all over me there. Surely that's a penalty. Surely he's just absolutely tugging at my shirt like a madman. Oh, whip this in. It's whipped. Someone's up. Oh, what a header. Off the line. We're coming even closer to taking the lead now. Let's have another corner. Oh, we're right at the back post for this one. I'm going to try and pull towards the middle. It's actually coming towards us. Can't quite get up for the header. But we've got a penalty for handball by the looks of things. Very, very good. Now, we, this is the first penalty we've got so far in career mode. Am I going to be on it? I would presume not. I'm not on it. But nonetheless, the chance to take the lead and get three points or put us on target for three points is Murphy on the penalty. Can he outwit the goalkeeper? I don't think there's a way to skip this animation, which is rather annoying for career mode purposes. So clip goes on a little bit longer, but Murphy steps up for the pen. I think he's going to go top right. He's gone bottom left. Great penalty, though. And that is 1-0 Sheffield United. Another 1-0 lead just before half-time. Perfect time to score as well, actually. So we're delighted with that. Great whip. There's a man in the box as well. What a save! Oh my god! Reactions from the goalkeeper. That is phenomenal. Bosh! Pick that out. What a save. He didn't have to pick that out. I don't know why that was the, the turn of phrase I went for. He didn't pick that out. He absolutely tipped that over the bar. Can we get rid, please? Win that flick on. Find Murphy, who finds Flynn, who has the shot, but it's it's just not quite accurate enough. We'd, I think we're going to need a second goal in this one, because Stevenage has been threatening us on the counter-attack all game long, but not really having any chances on goal other than that header. But you just get that sneaky feeling that they're only going to need that one shot to be on target, and that's going to be enough to get them back in this game. There's a man far aside if you can play him, Jefferson. You can't, because you're an absolute blind prick. Although he's made a great run. Can we find him? Bring it down. Shoot! 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 Penis! Second shot into the back of the net. It's Sheffield United 2, Stevenage 0. We scored right at the end of the first half. We scored right at the end of the second half. It would have been nice if Jefferson could have been able to find the net there so we could have picked up a second assist. But nonetheless, that touch was really weird. That second touch. Just poor. But that, that finish was next level. To hit it first time from that sort of angle with that sort of pressure late on in the game. Really, really pleased to be able to take three points from this one. It looks like we're going to mirror the uh, the results from last episode as well. A 1-0 win followed by a 2-0 win. Although this time we're picking up assists as opposed to, uh, to picking up goals. And that's it then. A 2-0 win for us at Sheffield United. At home against Stevenage, we're in a great run of form. Both individually and collectively as a team. I cannot... Be, uh, be more happy with the way things are going right now. Unfortunately, the rating system still hates me, but still, 80% pass accuracy and 66% shot accuracy isn't the worst. Just unfortunate not to pick up a goal in this one, but we did pick up an assist, and uh, we could have picked up an assist, a second assist in that second game, but unfortunately, uh, Jefferson was a bit of a donkey. But we have gone up overall to 70 now, which is absolutely fantastic. We're still growing as a pro. We'll have a quick look at the table. And see where we are now with that, that runner from we're into the playoffs, sneaking in at the bottom, sixth in the table. Let's have a quick look at a squad report and see how we're growing as a pro overall as well. Now that we're up to 70, where's Chesnoy? There he is. Very nice growth all around there, to, uh, to be completely honest. Ball control up to a lot of up plus twos there. Attack positioning and interceptions up three. We're up to 70 overall. Our value has gone from 725,000 to 1.2 million. 
we're progressing very very nicely so far so uh, please feel free to drop the video a like if you could be so kind guys that's going to bring this one to a close there was of course a AC Milan career mode episode went up earlier on today so feel free to check the channel page for that there was a, or there will be a link in the bottom left hand side of your screen to uh, to the early, or the previous episode of this series which of course went out on Sunday afternoon unfortunately my ultimate team has been reset and I haven't been able to sort it out yet so uh, there isn't going to be the World Cup Squad Series at present at the weekend I know a couple of you have been asking about that in the comments etc of uh, various videos uh, I haven't yet addressed it in a, in a commentary but that is the reason for it but that's going to bring this one to a close thank you very much for watching subscribe if you haven't and you'd like to see more from uh, from this series and of course the Milan career mode series as well plenty of career mode action on this channel right now you guys have been going hand with support for both series so I cannot thank you enough for that but that's going to bring this to a close so we'll have some more AC Milan Carimo tomorrow and that's all for today so thank you very much for watching.